It's been almost two weeks since a baboon was spotted in Johannesburg's northern suburbs. Community-led animal welfare has been tracking the animal's movements, and we're joined by Cora Bailey from CLAW. Cora, thank you very much for joining us. What progress has been made in capturing this baboon, or as one of my colleagues put it, arresting him? <laughs> Right, well, I just happen to have some amazing news. We've trapped him. Right. Um, we, we've trapped him. He's fine. He's secure. Um, and we, um, yes, sort of, I'm very excited because this ha literally happened about two minutes ago. Where did you guys find him? In Krugersdorp. Oh, wow, so he's traveled quite a distance. He covered quite a distance. You know, I think that this is what, what is incredibly sad is that this animal should really just have been left alone if, you know, if we hadn't, didn't have houses and freeways and shopping malls everywhere. He would have just been on his way to find another troop. And obviously because of very rapid urbanization, um, life is not that easy for a primate anymore. But he is safe, he is well, and um, yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm very, very happy to report that, literally just a few minutes ago. Uh, Cora, what's going to happen to him now? Okay, he is going to go to a um, wildlife rehabilitation centre um, where he will be um, assessed and examined and then he will be released in a suitable area where he has, he is going to have more of an opportunity to find others of his own kind. All right. Why was it so difficult to capture him in the first place? <laughs> okay. Um, look, he wasn't confined um, to an enclosed area. He literally had all these beautiful suburbs. Um, and all these lovely copies and gardens to to run around in. And we would be moving the trap, which weighs almost 100 kilos, and hope to capture him somewhere, but by then he'd be in the next suburb. So that was very, very difficult. But I'm happy to say that he's safe. And we would be so worried about, um, about traffic or dogs or... Um, you know, perhaps someone shooting him. So we, we feel very, very worried about him, and this is a huge load off my mind. All right, and you said he's going to be relocated. Absolutely, yes. He's, um, he's not going to, um, to go to a zoo or anything like that. He's a wild animal, and he needs to be with, with other wild animals. He needs to be with his own kind. He doesn't need to be in the suburbs. He needs to be in the bush somewhere and we will ensure that that happens.